Hey everyone, we are back today so that we can hand out the Chromebook to you, and this is going to walk you through all the different steps for that to happen uh, with some spots to stop and start as we go along. So hopefully uh, this will be helpful for you. First of all, um, the first step for this is how this is going to work. If we're going to need a few people from your homeroom, uh, two to three probably, three is probably a good number, to go down to the LMC, you have to be people that are willing to pick up big, large boxes, um, and then your power cords. Then what you're going to do is you're going to bring those back to your homeroom, kind of set them at the front of the room by the teacher, um, as they were going to kind of walk you through how to hand these out as each Chromebook is labeled for a specific student. So this is how it's going to work. You can kind of see some examples with these pictures. Once you bring that box back, you leave it in the front for the teacher, and they're going to call off and bring out one after the other and read the label that's on that Chromebook. Now, when your name is called, you can come up and grab your Chromebook, and you're also going to grab your power cord. And then you need to grab on that roster and sign off next to your name that you've received your Chromebook. This is a really important step in this process, so make sure that you do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause the video right here, and we're going to send those two to three people down to the LMC to grab the boxes and the power cords. And then once you come back, you can continue the video. All right, we're going to assume that you are back, and this is what you're going to do for the next stage. Like we said, you're going to set the box up in the front, and the teacher is now going to hand out the devices by calling off whatever name is on the front of the Chromebook. Then what we're going to do is you're going to sign off for students. Make sure you sign off on that roster. Now, just a few things before you pause the video. First of all, if your name is not called and you don't have a Chromebook in the case, that means that uh, we didn't get that little half sheet back the one day that we did that, which would have been last Friday. So maybe you were absent last Friday. That means for you to get your Chromebook, you're going to need to go down to the LMC and have one issued to you. We do not have it set up yet until we get that half sheet signed. Now, any absent students, um, if they are not here today, but they sign the half sheet and there's a Chromebook for them, homeroom teachers, we want you to put it back into the box, and they're going to have to come back and get that once they are back at school. Um, we don't want you hanging on to that. So just mark that that they didn't get it, put it back in the box, and then after you've handed them all out, we're going to have some students bring the boxes back with any of those Chromebooks that have not been handed out. So you can pause the video right now and go through, hand all those out, make sure you sign the roster like we said, and then bring back, very importantly, the signed roster, your empty boxes, and then maybe any of the absent students Chromebooks back to the LMC. Pause the video right now as you work through that. And then the last thing we're going to show you is just some basics about how to use the Chromebooks. All right, using your Chromebooks, how this is going to work for you. First of all, as you kind of open it up, you're going to have to go through a few things that we want to show you. Um, may, first of all, you want to make sure you have everything that was issued to you, and that is your Chromebook, the Chromebook case, and then the power cord. Power cord, you're going to, if there's not room in the case for that, you're just going to bring that home, put it in your bag for now, um, and then at night you can charge your Chromebook. And you don't actually even have to take it out of the case to charge it. There's just a spot for that to happen in there. Now, we want to make you aware of the three different wireless signals that we have here at school. Now, the first one is the most important one because this is a new signal that is only for the Chromebooks. It won't work with any other devices. It's called ASD Chrome. Um, and so what should happen is, just like if you have Wi-Fi at home, that your devices kind of auto-connect to it. And that's what's going to happen here. Now, this is still in the process of getting set up. So it may or may not be working the first day you get your Chromebook. Um, but what's going to happen if you are on the Chrome signal, you're going to get this page that shows up. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to log in using your district email, which is your username that you're used to signing into any computer with, and then the at stu.aasd.k12.wi.us, which I know is long. And so take a picture of that, write it down, whatever it needs to happen, because you can't get on your Chromebook unless you know what that is. And then your district password, don't forget, as we know, those last two things that changed last year. Now, let's say that didn't work for some reason. Um, the other two signals that you can use to get logged in are, first of all, ASD Logon, which you're probably most familiar with, and ASD Guest. Now, ASD Logon, you have to actually sign into to be able to use. So you need your username and your password. Um, if you're using the guest, you just kind of agree to a screen. Now, just know that for the guest, you have very limited accessibility on what you can access on that signal. So let's say you're going to use ASD Login. What is going to happen is this screen, once you open up your Chromebook, this screen is going to come up. And it basically says to use this, you need to basically visit the network sign-in page. So you need to click where it's kind of in blue there. That's actually a link. So you have to click on that 
and then a new page will come up. And at that page, you're going to say what your username and password. You don't need your full email, but just that. When you do that page, then you'll get another page like we just saw before that you'll log into the Chromebook. Now this is really crucial, that if you do not first log on to the Wi-Fi ASD logon, then you will not be able to sign into your, basically into your Chromebook until you did this. So you cannot skip this one, you can't click on the bottom where I put the red X, unless that is your Chromebook. You need to first sign into the Wi-Fi. Um, sometimes you'll see a little box come up on the right hand side of your screen that says you need to first be able to do this to get on. And so that's maybe if it's your Chromebook. Make sure you click on that. Once again, it's just your username and then your password and then you can get on to the ASD logon. Once again, ASD Chrome is almost up and running and that will auto connect so you will only be able to just, you just have to log into the Chromebook. But just know that this is the backup plan um, to be able to log on to the logon. This is basically what your Chrome browser, uh, when you, I mean, when you open up your Chrome desktop, what it'll look like. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can kind of see this now. You're going to have your apps launcher and then some shortcuts. You don't have a lot of stuff on your screen. And then in the bottom right, you'll see kind of like the time and a picture. Those are some of your other settings. This is a closer view of this. On the bottom left, you'll see that kind of that little grid of nine boxes. That's your apps launcher. If you click that, open all of the different apps that you've saved on there. And once again, we're working on getting the Chrome store available so you can add different apps um, to your Chromebook. And then on the shelf, as they call it, uh, you have the different kind of shortcuts to open things like your Chrome browser. Um, just know that the Gmail one, which is the M, that will not actually work. That's only going to bring you to your Gmail account, which you do not have for school. So you can right click on that and get rid of that shortcut if you would like. Otherwise, there's the Google search, the next one's Docs, and then YouTube, which we're also in the process of getting open. It's been a busy summer around here. So we're working on getting everything operational for you. So just kind of hold with us as we go through that process. Then on the lower right, you'll see some other things. You'll see that little zero right there. Um, that's talking about how we, you don't have any notifications right now. So we don't have any. But then it shows you the time, how strong a signal that you have for your Wi-Fi, your battery life. And then if you click on your picture, there's some more settings, volume, and being able to sign off. Now the touchpad's pretty important if you're not familiar with the touchpad that's on your Chromebook. First of all, if you need to click on anything, if you need to like log in or anything, uh, just one click with one finger will allow you to get on that. If you need to right click, because there's not really a right click button, it's actually two fingers together on the trackpad and that will right click for you. So that's pretty important to know. Um, the nice thing too, instead of kind of like bringing your little arrow to the side and like slowly clicking to go down a screen, you can actually just swipe up and down on this trackpad to go up and down on a web page, which is pretty nice as well. You can also drag and drop with one hand too, as you kind of can see here, um, with the second finger, move the item, and then your thumb can click as well. You can also like swipe back and forth on web pages, which will go forward and backwards. But just a few things about the trackpad. And if it's scrolling a different way than you're used to, you can actually change that in settings to what they call Australian. Now signing off is another thing you'll want to know how to do. Um, on the bottom, when you click on your picture, this will pop up. As you see here, it shows that it's managed by ASD. We see what you're connected to. This was a different Wi-Fi for me. Um, and then you'll see how much battery life that you have left in those types of things. Um, to sign off, you see that in the upper right hand corner, you could easily do that. You can also click on settings if you need to get to any more of your details. Also on the top of your screen, you're going to notice there's kind of some different buttons that are di different than like F1, F2, etc. And so you have a left and right arrow that'll let you go forward and backward in your browser history when you're in um, the Chrome browser. Uh, there's a refresh button you see there. You can have this other little button that kind of looks like it's going to expand. This will make the current page in full screen mode, which is kind of important. The other one is so you can switch windows. Then you have kind of an increase and decrease your screen brightness. Um, and then as well as a mute button, which is probably important to have on during the school day. And then you can turn up and down your volume. You can also take screenshots if you um, need to see anything or kind of keep something that you don't you want a record of. Um, all you'll need to do is hit control and then you'll see that button up the top right next to your brightness. That will take your whole screen a screenshot. If you just need partial parts of a screen, then all you need to do is control, shift, and that button will let you take a partial and you kind of select then what part of the screen you want the screenshot of. Also, bookmarking is pretty important. Um, up on the right-hand box, kind of next to, if you see your address bar, what they call the Omni box, on the far right, there's those three little lines. If you click on that, that's your menu bar, and it'll bring down, you can see bookmarks, and you might want to say that you always want your bookmark bars to show up on the top, and you can kind of see an example of this below. 
Um, also, if you want to create a bookmark, any web page that you're on, if you see that little in the Omni box or address bar, again, there's a star, you just click on the star and you can rename what your bookmark is called and it will save that site for you. But those are kind of the basics just so that you can use the browser. Once again, all of your settings travel with you. If there was some reason um, that yours was damaged or broken and you got issued a new one, all of your settings follow you to the new one. So that's really awesome. But hopefully you can kind of play around and get used to the different operations of this. And we'll offer some more training um, in some future videos for you to be able to see how to do this. But for now, uh, try to get used to that. Check out your Google Drive. Make sure everything is all there and ready to go. And until next time, we'll see you later.